In Mega Man ZX Advent, Ash and Gray Mega Merge with Biometal Model A and embark in a mission to discover more about themselves. Along the way, they encounter other users of Biometal, known as Chosen Ones, and defeat them in combat. Upon defeating them, Biometal Model A obtains DNA cores and cryptic codes known as ciphers, which contains data pertaining information regarding Master Albert's plan. These ciphers come with code numbers, but not just any ordinary code numbers. Although they could be read as simple code numbers with letters, these ciphers contain a secret, and that secret is that these code numbers contain specific dates from the Gundam universe. The first cipher extracts from code AW15 to CE70. The second extracts from CE71 to FC60. The third extracts from FC61 to UC79. The fourth extracts from UC80 to AC195. The fifth and final cipher extracts from AC19 6 to TC2343. So how do these code numbers reference the Gundam series? Well, if you compare these code numbers to dates from the Gundam series, they look identical. AW15 is the date for After War from Gundam X. CE70 and CE71 are dates for Cosmic Era 70 and 71 from Gundam C. FC60 and FC61 are dates for Future Century 60 and 61 from Mobile Fighter G Gundam, simply known as G Gundam. Gundam. UC79 and UC80 are dates for Universal Century 79 and 80 from the early Gundam installments, such as Mobile Suit Gundam, Gundam 8th MS Team, More in the Pocket, and Gundam MS Igloo. AC195 and AC196 are dates for After Colony 195 and 196 from Gundam Wing and Gundam Wing Endless Waltz, and TC2343 is likely a day for Turn A Gundam. Even though the cipher is labeled as TC2343, the closest reference is CC2343 or CC2345, which are dates for Correct Century 2343 and 2345 in Turn A Gundam, respectively. Hello everyone, thank you so much for seeing this all the way through. Very short one this one, but I found this very interesting on account that these ciphers actually reference dates from the Gundam universe. So I figured that I share this to the public as I've seen that nobody ever brought this up, but some people out there did explore other references in the Mega Man series, so this one is probably no exception. Anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed this and let me know if you have a favorite Gundam installment or a favorite Mega Man installment rather be something in the canon series from classic x0 zx or maybe it's a spin-off rather be battle network star force or maybe even legends and hopefully capcom can go back to the Mega Man series so they can actually finish the story one day but until then thank you all for seeing this all the way through and share this to anyone else who might find this interesting